Portland once again at the center of national attention as a riot in the South Park blocks downtown ended with statues down in the park, businesses damaged and shots fired. Yeah, news of the destruction sent President Trump to Twitter where he's renewing his criticism of how Portland leaders are handling this. He said in part, taking advantage of fools, law and order, Portland, call in the feds. In a second tweet this morning, the president called protesters Antifa radicals. Lisa Balick live in downtown tonight with more on all of this. Lisa? Well, police expected trouble. There was advance notice that the protest was going to be violent, and there are questions now about police response. Hundreds of protesters took to the streets for what they called a day of rage. They smashed storefront windows of several downtown Portland businesses, shop owners already struggling to survive. On the South Park blocks near Portland State University, protesters used chains, straps, and a pickup to pull down a President Theodore Roosevelt statue almost a century old. The crowd then toppled a nearby Abraham Lincoln statue. Next, they targeted the Oregon Historical Society, smashing entryway windows and hurling three lit flares inside that went out quickly. Someone also fired two shots into a nearby restaurant that was closed. The bullets lodged in the back wall. At the Portland State University police office a few blocks away, window glass shattered and other damage. These acts are obscene. They're an affront to the values of this community. Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler says he will hold the criminals accountable, but he's not interested in having federal agents step into the streets again. What I know that we don't want to do is go back to the kind of federal intervention that we had a month and a half ago, where for two and a half weeks they were here re-engaging and reigniting the demonstrations in our community. There are questions about a delayed police response last night. Chief Chuck Lavelle says several officers were diverted to a situation with a man firing multiple gunshots in a southeast Portland neighborhood. The chief says there was also another issue that played a role. When there's uh, shots being fired during this crowd event, too, it really impacts your ability to really move in in numbers and do any uh, real crowd control. You have to be very careful when you know people are armed and firing weapons. Cleanup now underway and worries it could happen again. Now, police say that they made three arrests last night, but they anticipate making many more once they review video and talk with witnesses. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.